Hello and welcome to Campus to Community, the Columbia Basin College news magazine to keep you informed of what's happening at CBC and how we might serve you better. Today we're going to visit with Jason Kleiser, Project Director for Basic Skills at CBC, who will be talking about adult basic literacy and how that weaves into a program at CBC called iBEST, where students learn not only basic skills, but also training for a specific job. We also speak with one of the iBEST graduates, Satara Farahani, and finally we'll talk with our new ASB president at CBC, Michelle Yeager. But first, we'll visit with uh, Jason Kleiser. Jason, welcome to the program. Great, thank you, Frank. Adult Basic Literacy Week is October 17th through the 23rd mm -hmm. throughout the state of Washington. Right. And um, as we see, we have a catchphrase here, which is better skills, mm -hmm. better jobs, and uh, building a better Columbia Basin. Mm -hmm. Tell us about adult basic literacy and why it's so important. Sure. Well, one of the main things, the first things that you do when you increase uh, adult literacy skills is you um, give people an opportunity to get started on a career pathway um, that leads to living wage jobs, uh, earning certificates that will give them an opportunity to make a, a better living. Um, another thing that uh, you do uh, for students that are already employed is you give them an opportunity for advancement and promotion uh, in that job. Uh, it also increasing adult literacy skills uh, allows students to become better citizens, uh, better community members by being uh, more um, able to participate in their children's education, uh, participating in um, community activities such as using the library, voting, and mm -hmm. things like Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, now the program, IBEST, which is Integrated Basic Education and Skills Training, mm -hmm. pretty much says it all in that, uh, basic skills and skills training. Explain the purpose of IBEST. Sure, well the main purpose, as I mentioned earlier, was to get um, students started, help them to explore a career pathway, help them to get started on a career pathway, uh, leading to certification and employment, and uh, doing that uh, much faster and, and, and in a more efficient manner than we were able to do before. The traditional model of adult uh, education called for students to master all levels of basic skills, whether it be math or, or English, before they were able to, um, before they were able to enter uh, right. professional technical mm -hmm. or, or training training program. With iBEST, um, you mentioned the integrated part, it pairs a professional technical or content area instructor with a basic skills instructor. Uh, it might be a nursing assistant instructor or a welding instructor. They work together with the students with a basic skills instructor so that they're learning those uh, basic skills, whether it be math or English, uh, in context at the same time as they're being trained for a specific job. So they're able to move much further and faster uh, along that pathway, leading to better employment. And at CBC, in the IBEST program, what, what fields do they have to choose from? Well, right now, um, as you know, in our area and around the country, health sciences, uh, there are a lot of opportunities for employment in that area. So we work a lot with the health sciences division. Uh, currently, we offer a nursing assistant program, a uh, phlebotomy program, a medical secretary program. We also, in the evening, have an early childhood education uh, uh, program that leads to certification for child care providers, a general receptionist program in the office technology area, and finally, a new program that we're really excited about is called Solid Modeling, um, where um, in the vocational area where students are trained um, to learn software that will help them to build um, parts and they go out in the shop and build those parts. These are all short-term certificates, three mm -hmm. months to nine months, so we can get folks out there. And working. I don't know if we've mentioned, but it's mm -hmm. free training, right? Correct. Who yes. qualifies for this? Uh, the people that qualify, number one, you need to be a basic skills student that's below college level. Um, we use a series of assessments, uh, standardized tests to test math skills and reading skills, as well as um, orientation and interview activities for each um, specific uh, program that will determine their level. Students need to be at an intermediate to advanced level um, in order to be successful in these classrooms, even with the added academic um, support. Finally, a few other programs, the health sciences programs have a few requirements. Uh, you need to have some certification in first aid and CPR, but those are the basic requirements. Fantastic. Sounds like a great program to put people to work. We think so. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And uh, you can see on the screen the contact information to uh, get into the iBEST program. And we'll be back right after this.